making little um, books, mini books, um, as you all know, but I also love making some of these small flat books that either will stand alone on their own or fit perfectly into Eileen's journals. So what I'm going to show you on this video is how to make this small flapped book and this fits Eileen's scoreboard die for the pocket frame journal. That's this one here. And so you'll see how I measure up for that. But so it means that you can adapt for any other of the journals. And you can see I've just made it so it fits perfectly on the cover or inside. So when you come, instead of putting the books and things inside, you can actually glue that down and you've got a flap book in actually inside the journal itself. Now this size is measures four by six and it will also fit the pockets journal, which is not quite as long, but it's perfect. It actually fits within the elastics. So you can actually use that with the elastics here. And that's a die is this one here. And then you can also really make a larger one once you've got the idea of how it's measured. This is one um, I made recently, and you see it's exactly the same idea, slightly different, um, but it depends on what papers you've got. And I've also got a big pocket in here and a small book. But this size, if I can get it folded up, right, actually fits the really big full-size journal, and that just fits perfectly into that and that I is this one here. So it's all about learning how to make the flaps and um, just experimenting really and then when you decorate it um, everything can be or your ephemera <coughs> bits and pieces can be put inside. So the video will explain how to make this little book and I hope it leads you on to making others as well. I'll put the dimensions of the of the other albums in uh, underneath the video details. So to start, I've chosen my papers. Now the papers are going to be seen on both sides. So you do want papers that go together. It can't quite make it out of one sheet, a 12 by 12, but you don't really need a full second sheet. Um, my alternative sides are not too bad. Um, and I think they will all go together reasonably well. Um, I'm making the book to fit the frame pockets journal. This is Eileen's scoreboard plus die from earlier this year. But I'll show you how I make it for this and then you can see how it can be adapted for other journals. Now the book we want needs to fit inside reasonably neatly. So six inches in depth is just perfect. I don't try and work in um, ridiculous sizes so I just round everything up but six inches is perfect for this and a width of four inches so that should give us a nice little book that will sit inside and this is a completed book Oops, I can't get it open um, but you would be able to sort of sit it on the back here or if your elastics were um, top to bottom you could probably um, hook it in under the elastics but the idea is to make a book that you can sit inside a little book that will sit inside the larger journal so I'm going to start with the paper for my cover um, this is quite um, a pretty pattern on the bottom but quite plain on the top so I think I'm going to go for the top part as my um, cover and then I can use pieces of this as part of the flaps so we're working with six inches in depth. So I'll cut my paper six inches. And then I'm going to score, make sure I've got my, oh, my blade is stuck. And then you need to turn your paper over and score it on the underside. So we're going to score it at four inches. four and a quarter inches to get a spine and again at eight and a quarter inches 
and that will give you a front cover. and an inside piece. So now we can start making the flaps to go inside the book. And um, this is just um, a very simple way of using a half inch scored edge to create the individual flap so that you can join pieces together. So we've got our six inches depth for the book and I'm going to cut this at four and a half inches. And then I'm going to score it at the half an inch. Keep getting papers the wrong way up. <laughs> okay. And that is going to be a cover that goes inside here. And by creating that half inch, that's going to find that's going to sit down in there like that and creates that movable flap. Then, just need to trim a tiny little bit off the edge here so that it fits into the book. Without, so that page can then fold over. And so when this page gets stuck down here, in order to cover up that piece there, we're going to create a little pocket. So I'm using the six inch depth the whole time as much as I can, um, so I'm not use, losing any card. So to make the pocket, I'm going to keep that six inches and cut the two inch strip. And then when this has got a punched out, piece in it that will go down there and that will give me a pocket in there for tags and other ephemera and whilst we've still got things to play with um, I'll cut another strip of one and a half inches and that can go on this piece here and that will give me a, a band that I can actually hide some cards and things in underneath. So I don't have much of this pretty pattern paper left, so I'm going to just put that on one side for the time being, in case I want to use it for the cover. So I'm going to start breaking into my second sheet. And now I need um, some pieces that are going to make create different flaps. So I'm going to cut a smaller size. This time I'm going to go for five and a half inches. Five and a half inch strip. And I'm going to cut this by at four inches wide. And I'm going to use this, oops, I'll put these pieces to one side. I'm going to use this as a, a flap on the front here. So again, I'm going to do half an inch score. This is why I've not stuck anything down because you want to get all your pieces cut before you stick anything down. That will be a double flap that is stuck down there, but we've now got a flap there. And then we'll perhaps try um, a four and a half by four and a half. Let's just see what size that gives us. It just, it's very good for using up scraps rather than working in with new pieces um, but I'm just using two strip sheets and give let's give that a half inch score now let's see where we can put this one um that's going to be a little bit too wide to go on there so let's cut that down a little bit and let's take a half an inch off you see how I just keep working out to try and building it up and then that will go under there so you can stagger those two pockets and then we could still do a third one here so let's measure that where big would that need to be 
two and a half inches. So add half an inch on for the flap. So that's two and a half inches, we're looking at three inches. And then a half inch flap. And then that will sit on there. I'm going to take my patterned paper and I'm going to do something on the, the front here. So I think something about three and a half inches would be a nice size. So let's go for three and a half inches. And then I'm going to need to score it on that side here. And that will give you a nice flap on the front. And then inside to cover up that flap there, you could make a small pocket with that piece here. And just stick that down on the two sides. And there you have, once it's all stuck together, which I'll show you in a minute, a pocket flap book. Mm -hmm.